Aini Park is the venue for this match. It features a distinctive bio-frame design with a geodesic dome roof covering much of the seating area while still allowing light through to the pitch. This one is too tight to call. There's so little between the teams. With me here is Justin Marshall. And what an atmosphere we have here tonight, Justin. Absolutely agree. What an occasion this is. We're about half full here. Still a few people trickling in, though. What's going on, guys? This is the uh, first trial game for the Western Force. Uh, we are taking on the Standing Cheetahs, as you can see. The referee's whistle to get us underway. And here we go. And we are underway. Oh, the Cheetahs have missed that. Oh, Luke Morahan picks it up. And the Western Force have straight away lost possession of the ball, but brutal tackle. pretty uh, invigorating start for a Western Force supporter. The scrum half gathers it out of the back. Looks for support. Going somehow. Oh, Western Force at the breakdown. Force a turnover. And Angus Cottrell's been taken high. That should be a penalty. Looks like we're going to see the first yellow card of the match. been hit by a beast. Flattened by the high arm. And there it is. Sent off for 10 minutes. And the Western Force, despite really having the first attacking ability there, they're going to take the penalty goal. Put themselves up by three, which is what you want to see as the season goes on. These, these choices are, the kick is good. I guess, deemed first smart choices. Match, you want to put yourself in a position to win, and well, that, that puts very the points on the board early. So now Western Force received the, the ball off the, the kick restart. and hopefully don't have a horror start and like the Cheetahs did. The and they're going to spread it off the ball kick. A that was a cracking tackle yes, by uh, on the Cheetahs on Cottrell. Rasalia gets it out. Luke 22. Morahan Morin has to beat the fullback, puts the chip over the top. Absolutely flying up oh, what's happened kick. there? A good little kick and Zach Holmes one. turns around and the kicks it over the touchline. He had no one in front of him. Western Force looking to pinch the line out here. And they haven't. Ray, the Cheetahs maintain nice possession off the line out and they're the going to go for the driving the ball. ball. Western Force are quick to bind. And this is a good driving ball. They've started pushing it back, they've but they're going to use the ball here. They go on the blind side. Come back in. Down and McCalman with a great one on one tackle there. The Cheetahs maintain possession, start spreading to the right. They've got numbers here. Nick Cummins one on one. What a tackle. Tremendous tackle there. Holding on to the ball until the support arrives. Winger comes in for a quick it's carry. Not releasing. Oh, and Western Force penalty. quick to the breakdown, it's putting pressure penalty. on the breakdown there. He and they've got the penalty for holding like on. And now he's given away a penalty. Really good stuff from the Force Western Force here. Yeah. some meters with this kick. And that's a good kick for touch. So they'll just be outside the touch. 22 there. So, line out here. And the Western Force have elected to go with a seven-man line-out. And it appears the throw will not be straight. What a start, though, Nisbo. Not straight. Well, and there you go. Here. Western Force had good field position, good territory going on, and they've given away a pretty cheap penalty, saying that they need to work well, on is the line-out. Cheetahs have elected to go for the scrum as opposed to the line-out, so this is the first scrum of the game. We'll see what and can happen here. Hit. Appears to be a pretty even contest here, but the Cheetahs are definitely winning the scrum battle at this rate. A brutal contest in the scrum. Be interesting to see what, what they do now? here. They could here. could attack from the There's scrum, but wasn't really anything too invigorating there. It was nothing new. It was pretty straightforward. The tight head prop keeps it oh, going. Oh, Sam Wykes, what a tackle! A Takes him out of bounds. And the Western Force back in with the line out. And this one appears to be a little bit better. Should I be straight. They've, a lot of out they've of the gone way for they the mole. So Western Force so got numbers there, here. but the Cheetahs here appear to be the, the stronger forward pack to there. It. Turns it back on the inside. Oh, Nick Cummings, Cummings with the dummy. The defense, He's gone straight through, and that's a try. There's the first try. That's an easy try. Yes, that's the Cheetahs look to have numbers on that say. side, but this weren't able to contain the Honey Badger. It's gone straight over for what was realistically a pretty simple try. There was nothing special there. A little dummy from Godwin and then drew him past. And then Cummings just burnt them for pace and used a bit of a dummy to get the hesitation from them. A chance to add another two here. So Godwin with the goal kick from virtually right in front. And he's nailed it. 
So the Western Force take a 10 to nothing lead here. Just got a player returning in, Nisbo. Cheetahs finally have their player returning from the uh, sin bin, but I mean, the Western Force have really capitalised on the opportunities they've had since he's gone off. Kick off, taking oh, it. Good catch he's there. Got pretty good hands. Release. Cheetahs look to, to maintain go. possession here, and they've won the breakdown mm. there. Marshall runs it at them. Oh, Western Force, they've been so good. They're so good at the breakdown. And Luke Morahan, that's a terrible pass, but Ben McCalman takes the hospital goes. pass, picks it up. And because of that, Western Force looks set to obtain possession here. And they've gone out to Kyle Godwin. Godwin setting up for the kick, and the left foot has nailed it. Kept the bit of height on it against the wind. Pretty easy take from Cheetah's full back there. But once again, the Western Force have been dominant at the breakdown. That's a terrible pass from the captain, though. Really good tackle from Kyle Godwin. Albie Matheson clears him over the top, though, pushes him back. Cheetah's ball. It looked a bit forward, but nonetheless, Nick Cummings takes the hooker out of bounds. Really good tackle there. Got to say, early on, the Western Force have looked like the far superior team. I mean, we're only 20 minutes into this stanza, nice but we'll see what no can happen. That, Zach Holmes, Runs Godwin, Rosalia. Yeah, oh, that's a terrible a offload, but it's done just enough Morin to allow Luke Morahan to scoop it up in here. open space. It's not able to do too much afterwards after being ankle tapped, but good to see some attack from the Western Here's Force. The oh, and to Terra Faulkner. On that nice occasion. hit up there from the forward, but he's lost ball. possession. Flat the Cheetahs have gone straight on the counter-attack here. Smith, oh, they've got, they got a bit of space to work with. And Warrior. Dane Haler-Petty, solid one-on-one -on -one tackle there. And he's forced and the turnover, has a bit of open space. Hits him with the dummy, the really good tackle from the opposition fullback. There's a try saver there, Nick Cummings is screaming up the blind side. And I think Haler-Petty missed him. So quite possibly the second try of the smashed. night. To turn oh, Van the Wick at the breakdown. They force another Down turnover. The Marshall easily fended off. Nice little run Back there. But he's lost the possession. Good Wisten steal from the Cheetahs. One-on-one -on -one tackle. They've forced the knock on. So there'll be a scrum pack. It, and they'll come back for the scrum instead. Things just not Crouch. going right for them there, and the mistake Fine. came as a result. So you can win this battle. It looks like Dane Halepetti's moving up Good into the hit. line. Look for a quick uh, pass out to the right. Should have a sweeping attack here. They should have the extra numbers. And Rasalia, what's he going to do? He takes on the fullback. Decides nice to give him a bit of a stiff arm, but the fullback's actually ground. done really well in the tackle. McKelman and Hodgson. Hayler Petty goes dummy. straight through with the dummy. Petty, He's cracked the line, and that's going to be an here. easy try. He's in. That's what they really good ball movement from Matt Hodgson try. there. No Hit the draw and pass Pure to perfection to Dane Hayler Petty. Western Force are looking really, really well good at the moment. This is the attacking yeah, footy we've wanted to see in recent years, but yeah, they weren't able to really well maintain away, the attacking, no attacking style of footy for the whole season. Whether or not it was through injuries and whatnot, it's just... It's good to see it here. And in full motion as well, full flight. Godwin easily Worst of course, I know try. it's only early He's days, and it's only a trial game at the end of the day, but they've that taken a 17-0 lead over the Cheetahs. I think there should be a bit of confidence gained from this side. Matt Hodgson gets in. absolutely drilled off the kickoff, and he here. appears to be injured. He's holding at his good. ribs here. Hopefully nothing too serious for the captain. And they're going to bring on... Russ Haler Petty. Probably on a bit earlier than everyone expected, but he gets his yeah, crack he's anyway. He's just seen his uh, brother score a try, so he wants to get amongst the action. Oh, there's some force there in that hit. And a oh, that's a terrible scrum there. Yeah. Good pushing from both teams. Looks like Dane Haler Petty's come into the lineup as well. Ref says ball is out. And they've gone out to the left. Kyle Godwin, they've got numbers here. Should be pretty straightforward. They've gone to the Honey Badger. 
Now, Let's put the chip over the top. Chases. Can he regather? He hasn't been able to, Texans but he made the tackle one on one against the fullback. And the Western Force ball. quick to the breakdown, but won't get the That's turnover still here. Still on for the and the Cheetahs, Cheetahs have gone blindside. Bizarre call. He's been taken straight over the touchline. When you flirt like that with the sideline, you've got to expect to not always come off best. That's definitely been the case there. And that was lost a terrible line out. Cheetahs getting a break the there. Line out the game force. from the Western Force hasn't Quickly been particularly good. And they're probably going to look to to work Take on that as the uh, trial Balls games go contested. on. Because definitely Turnover. not what you want to see from good the starting well hooker. The but the turnover game, the ruck the dominance defense. from the Western Force is something to, to be proud of, really. Cummins picks it up. Adam Coleman with the hit up. He's Not found a a run, half a gap there. He's put his head through. Cottrell has it now. Shut down with oh, Van Wick. Oh, that's not a particularly Marahan. good pass. Link Marahan dives on it, and the, the Western ball. Force will maintain possession here. Powerful defence. Faulkner gets the ball to his support player. He pushes it off. Is too strong. Can't That's a really good tackle from the so Cheetahs there, taking Nick Cheetah Cummings over the sideline, but I mean, I've got to say, the Western Force have definitely been the dominant team in this half. Whether or not things will change as the game Ray goes on, is, you know, hard to see. At the moment, it's all Western it's Force as well. Now. I mean, they haven't capitalised on every opportunity, Taking but the they've definitely now. made the most of the opportunities presented, and that's what you want to see early on. And this is a glimpse of what's to come. You, as a Western Force supporter, you've got to be excited, surely. The 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 back rower is I mean, their rough smashed. dominance has been fantastic. So the it's given them pretty good possession Ray at the end of the day. Um, the Cheetahs have set up for the kick, and it's not the a bad kick. Should relieve touch. a bit of pressure there. Force, out ball. And Western Force haven't been particularly strong in the line-out so far, but look to hopefully improve here Coleman stretching and they've got numbers to the right as always Western Force looking to get a bit of attack going the red playing advantage that was unfortunately a knock on by the Western Force and he's knocked it on they had the numbers out wide so opportunity probably goes missing there the cheetahs will pack another scrum as the half comes to a close should be the final the final phase of the game, one would imagine, or final phase of the half rather. And a good battle going on here. They've gone out left from the scrum. That's a really solid tackle one on one there. And the Western Force have once again turned the ball over. It's just such a dominant team at the breakdown at the moment. Gowan has it out the back. I don't know what you're meant to do if you're if you're a cheater's player going down in the tackle. I mean, the chances of you holding on and maintaining possession is it's pretty slim at the moment. And that kick's gone dead in goal, and that will be the close of the half. Really good performance from the Western Force. We'll see what the Western Force can do in the next half. 17-0 at half time. So have a look at the, the breakdown lead. at half time. The a possession of territory is pretty much They've all in Western Force's favour. I mean, the territory is 54 to 46 percent. So the cheaters have so won that battle, but the high tackle early on has really so far, kind of caused the disaster that is the 17-0 deficit the cheaters face. So we'll see what they can do we here. Can have a look at the stats now. Force have definitely made a lot more handling errors than the cheaters, but. There's Miss still 17 well, points on the board. Anyway, the we'll catch you at the beginning of the next half. Lots of turnovers so We're back here to start so the we'll second half of anyway. footy here. Western the Force is still up 17-0, of course. And we'll retain Matthews possession off the kick by the look of it. Albie Matheson, takes him down. really good take there from the scrum half. Picks and it's it gone to Angus Cottrell and moving. Ross Haler Petty with a little bit of space, not a lot. Kind of looking for his winger out wide, but the winger went missing, it's too far out. Really good tackle from Ben McCalman. They've got numbers here, the Western Force. Pops the offload. Adam Coleman tries to force the offload. Probably tried to force his hand a bit too much. And the Cheetahs will gain possession here. And they've Ray, gone to the blind side options. again. It's been a tactic of theirs all night, but the Western Force Smith, haven't been caught sleeping the there. 
And the Western Force, like they have done successfully all night, have won the barrack down there. Cowan delivers it Cow Cowan, and Cowan he's knocked on. on. And he's trying to get the pass off to uh, Kyle He'll Godwin, who had Luke Morahan on his outside. We all know what Luke Morahan can do. Only a chance going missing there. And uh, once again, the Cheetahs trying to go to the blind side. But luckily for the Cheetahs here, hands in the rough from the Western Force, so it'll be a penalty. Interesting to see what they're going to do here. They're down 17 0. They're obviously in pretty good territory to get some attacking phases going. and kind of build the pressure on the Western the Forces try line so you're going to start with a line out and I imagine they would go straight to the driving mole here but it'll be interesting to see they might have different plans and that's not going to help matters Step definitely not going to help go. matters as the Western Cox Force the have actually nicely. won the line out against the throw and they're Quick working the numbers here Nick Cummings the Passes honey badger the what can he do Gets absolutely smashed by the fullback one on one. Really good tackle. Once again, Western Force of hey, Petty have won that. The ball. Flicks a little one. And Zach Holmes with a bit the of Cheetahs space drops it on the left the boot. The wind takes it back in. It's taken a pretty kind bounce for the Hughes Western Force. It sits ball. up and they've made and the tackle and taken the winger over the sideline. Oh, it was, it was probably hard to justify what the winger should have done in a scenario like that. He, he flirted with the sideline a bit too much there He's and ultimately the paid the, the price of that by getting taken over the sideline. But one-on-one -on -one tackle probably would have lost Shut possession at tackle. the breakdown like they have all night. So maybe it was the better the outcome out. as they've managed They'll to get a, a clearance kick here to re relieve a little bit of pressure from, from for their defence. The Western Force do here off the line out. Not Doesn't Cowan, appear to be straight. That's straight. a terrible throw. Western Force been struggling all night with the line out throws. So and Cheetahs again escaping line. a bit of pressure here, especially if they can win the scrum and That's get a good kick away. Oh, great hit. Really good scrum from the Cheetahs here. here. Showing a bit of dominance in their forward pack. At least when it comes to scrum time and line out time, they've been pretty solid. The ball out there. They've gone blind side here, and, and seriously, the Western Force have not been caught Stopped napping. I'm not sure if the, the head coach has said Trying there's a. I mean, if it's part of the game plan, that I think there's a weakness on the Western release. Force's blind that side that they've been caught out a few release. times, but definitely not Number the case nine. at the moment. But I guess persistence, back. you know. Back to his feet quickly and risk could always could always try and work to the game plan and that's the game plan credit to them for sticking to it but it hasn't worked so far no way through I think Kyle Godwin was looking to pop the offload there but there's no real opportunity gets it away presented to pop a good offload oh, Ben McCalman finds Luke Morahan one-on-one -on -one, and he tries to force the offload but it's gone through the hands of Zach Holmes and over the sideline so the cheaters Again, getting bailed out a little bit there. Here's the line out throw. Western Not Force uh, have won it. And Ross Haler Petty Finds goes through the hands short. to Ben McCalman to Kyle Godwin. Oh, and that's Strong a really good tackle on Russell here. He's so dangerous in open space. He's got the strength and the ability to offload. Godwin I mean, it's a quite a dangerous combination. Play. Watch him run. And Cowan gets it. taken one on one. It's not who you want when you've got a bit of open space. You don't want to go into a forward. I mean, there's some forwards that can hold their own out there, but especially a prop in particular. Definitely not the desired outcome. grabs it out of the back. Oh, nice looking play there, but Smith makes the tackle. Really good one on one tackle. Wax has the ball. And Zach Holmes puts one. the kick over the top. LaRue with a good catch while airborne. It really good, good tackle really there from the Western Force. It. Luke Morahan trying to force a bit of pressure goal. again. Marshall finds a runner. And he's pounded. Grim looking and days for the cheaters here. The ball's being contested. Hard and straight. Look at the Western Force and defense muscling now. up. He's got to let it go They're now. definitely the underdogs going into this trial game, but I mean they've mustered up something really, really good here. And if they can work on it during the season, it's going to be something to keep your eyes on. 
Western Force looking to make some changes here. They're going to bring on Hoskins and uh, Chris Heiberg. So I think a lot of changes are going to be made. Nathan Charles is going to come on. Steve Murphy is going to come on as well. As we said, there's going to be a host of changes from the Western Force. Particularly 20 minutes left, you know, kind of see what options you've got. Rest some of your players, like Albie Matheson, who's going to be the starter, providing there's no injuries. Um, we're actually going to take off Solomon uh, Rosalia for C.S. Eberson, just to get that, I guess, extra dimension out there in the centres so, and see how that plays. Line. Instead of having a strong ball runner, we want a ball player. That's what we get with uh, Eberson coming on into centres with Godwin. I mean, it creates a pretty dynamic duo in terms of the ability to play in front of you. And the counter-attack that you can do from that is going to be something to good look forward to in the final 20 minutes stanza. Like Speaking of which, on, comes Justin. into the hands of Godwin, who's goes. trying no to get the draw and pass there. They had open space and it's not worked Prior, out particularly well moving. for him as Hoskins, Hoskins goes to the blind strong. side, gets hammered in a one-on-one -on -one tackle, but Western Force have maintained Spreads possession it. here as Steen Camp gets the ball, no and that's a terrible now pass. An it's not Did what the well coach though, wants to he? see. You've got to be smarter than that. Kyle Godwin, oh, really good sliding defence there from the good Western Force. Oh, and he's tried to go one-on-one. -on -one. That's a really solid tackle there. Ben McCallman drops him. Western Force have got the turnover Fire again. Gets the ball away. They're going to go through the hands. Seems Everson to Godwin. Nathan pass. Charles gets the ball. Here's That's not a good percent. offload again, but Ross Halepetti with the one-on-one -on -one tackle. They're going to look to force That's a pressure well, here, holding like on to the cheaters. That's there. a penalty. We'll be and I imagine the Western Force are going to kick for away. touch the wind going their way this time. And Zach Holmes drops it over the 50-meter line. That's a really good kick, really good touch finder. Once again, Western Force in a bit of, uh, of the ability to apply a bit more pressure here. Not straight. Not How is that not straight. straight? That was a questionable call there. Thought the line-out throw was particularly good in comparison to what we've seen all Let's night. The, the Cheetahs again have elected to pack the well, scrum when the throw is not straight. The so they obviously back their Let's scrum a lot more than here. their uh, line-out the capabilities. So. Curious looking scrum down there. Overall, you give you some and options to uh, apply some here. attack though. So, Cheetah's probably going blindside like they have all Fire night. Right and they've gone back in. Now. I mean, it's got the potential to develop a hole if executed correctly. But I guess the repetition now, of it is becoming too predictable. Being and Murphy has found Cummings. Cummings, Cummings the honey badger. Gone for the so chip and chase over the top the of the fullback, and it's it was gone over the touchline. So, wasn't executed, but I mean, you can afford to do things like that when you're up 17 0 with 10 minutes left. And Western well Force well have actually won the line out, so it's, it's worked out pretty there. good. He's been hit hard. And Godwin gets met one on one. And the absolutely doing crunched their in the job. tackle. Still alive. Heiberg delivers it to a runner. And they drive and Hoskins gets gets crunched I there. It's there for the force. Got to be pleased. Hot the West delivers it to a runner. Oh, Ross Halepetti, he Hale gets Petty taken on one on one. Tackle. Good tackle, but Western Force still McKelman maintaining a bit of support. Still maintaining possession, and they've got the overlap here by the look of it. Luke Morahan goes to the step Text on the inside. He gets taken and a good go tackle. Looks like they're setting Holmes up for the kick here. Nice short Maybe pass. not. They've gone through the hands. Oh, and C.S. Eberson takes on the line. and, and He made a half the break there, but gets tackled from behind he and loses the ball. The I think he's trying to pop the offload too. But now we'll have a scrum. You know, at the end of the day, the ball's scrum. found the ground and it's a knock-on. The Cheetahs get a Cheetah scrum game here. has been something to be, uh, I mean, you've got to say anything can be a mod from Not long to go now. The their last uh, game the today. It's definitely their scrum. Yeah, the Western Force have actually the turned this against the head, so have stolen this. really good scrum there from the a Western Force. They haven't had a lot of success of late. Oh, and Luke Morahan gets crunched without the ball. He's put up the bomb. Takes the high ball. 
Oh, I thought he was going to do a bit of an up and under to himself, but he's been taken in a one on one tackle, I think. Just after touch. he got, got the kick away, you could say it was a late hit, but at the end of the so day, the uh, referees allowed play to go on. So, can't really complain as long as it's consistent. Less than four have gone for a driving mall here. The top. They've been alright in the driving mall this so far mall's today. Still going. Definitely going strong here. So just a few minutes Should have remaining a here. Bit of numbers defense. out wide, but that's a and terrible offload. It's not who you want to well find when you've got some options. Stolen it. Holmes gets the ball away. Everson stretches his legs. The chase. Gets oh, Halepetti. He was chasing for it. Nice little the chip win. and chase there from. Uh, well, oh, he didn't really get the, the chase in, but Everson showing some Force class there. Too strong in the end. Western and Force don't add on any points here. in the second half, but they will maintain the 17 to nil lead over the Cheetahs at full time. Excellent game for the Western Force as they look to away. go into next week and go into that game with a head full of confidence. And you know, Force, throughout their whole roster, victorious. the confidence should be growing. It's been a great game. If they can maintain this, they could be a real force in the competition this year. The attacking presence and the ruck commitment was fantastic, and that's something they need to build off of. Anyway, we'll catch you in the next video. Ciao.